Good morning. My name is Shalonda Smith. I'm a University of Texas at Arlington graduate student. Today I'm going to present to you my book review over the book, How to Grow Leaders, The Seven Key Principles of Effective Leadership Development by John Adair. John Adair has actually written over 40 books about leadership. He's regarded as the world's leading authority on leadership and leadership development. He received his education at St. Paul's at school in London and at Cambridge University. He then went on to be um, the leadership advisor for the Royal Military. He was the world's first professor of leadership studies. He helped to found Europe's first center of leadership studies. He is currently known as the International Advisor on Leadership Development. The purpose of the book, How to Grow Leaders, um, is exactly how it sounds. It's to help organizations grow leaders from within. The book is divided into two parts. The first part gives background over how leadership started with everyone believing that leadership is something that people are born with and not something that, that can be taught. John Adair goes to great lengths um, using examples to show that leadership can actually be taught or grown from within individuals who are motivated to learn. The first part of the book also has the purpose of defining leadership. According to John Adair, how can you grow a leader unless you know exactly what leadership is? The second part of the book um, is written to convey John Adair's seven principles for effective leadership development. The target audience for this book would be formal leaders within organizations, as well as informal leaders within organizations, um, as well as anyone who wants to develop their leadership skills or see what leadership skills uh, they can improve upon. The strengths of this book were many. Uh, John Adair gives a lot of background information on leadership in the first part of the book. Um, he uses examples um, and quotes to convey the information that he's trying to get across. Um, he also clearly defines what a leader is in relation to what a manager is or what management is. He also describes what his seven key principles of leadership development are. Um, he uses case studies and examples and quotes as well to help the audience understand exactly what the principles are and what they could do for them. At the end of each of the principles, he has a key point section that goes over the main points from that section. Um, and that was extremely helpful to me to remember what I have read and to make sure that I was taking away what I needed to know to uh, apply in practice. Some of the things that I thought were um, shortcomings of the book were the fact that at times it was as if he used too many uh, quotes and examples and case studies. It was a little heavy with those at times and I would forget where, what point we were trying to make because we were, I was busy trying to read the case studies. Also, he's tailored the book to a broad audience, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing for everyone, but as a healthcare professional, I would have liked some of the case studies to be geared towards a healthcare organization so I could apply it to my practice easily. Um, the last shortcoming that I found with this um, book was the fact that uh, John Adair has a military background. And so some of the stories and examples that he gave uh, were related to military situations um, and I wasn't able to follow them or be as interested as maybe someone who had a military background. Overall, I do believe that John Adair achieved his objective. He clearly defined, stated, um, and presented to his audience his seven principles of leadership development and growth. They are training for leadership, selection, line managers as mentors, the chance to lead, 
Education for Leadership, a Strategy for Leadership Development, and a Chief Executive. Overall, I would recommend this book to leaders within an organization who are trying to find new leaders to grow and develop. And I would also um, recommend this book to anyone who's looking for ways to grow and develop themselves as a leader. Thank you very much for your time.